Hello everybody, Ruben Merrill here, coach of the Cleveland Bros, bringing you the final week in the PPL D2 Season 2 against Better Jack and the Melbourne Victory Star. Now, last week, because the fact that Paulie Mack won, we had been eliminated from the playoff game. So, this week, we aren't playing for ourselves, we are playing for Ellie and the Akron and Snattler. If we don't win, she is also eliminated, and uh, Better Jack will take the third place spot. So. The team he brought a Gorgeist, a Victini, a Togekiss, Quillfish, which I expected for the Weavile, the uh, Choice Scarf Tyrandrum, and the Megas. Now, the thing that I noticed was that Weavile did a lot to his team once the Quillfish was gone. I brought a Zap Plate Thunderstirian with Agility, Hidden Power Ice, uh, Focus Blast, and Thunderbolt. I brought a Curse Snorlax with Return and Crunch. I brought Life Orb, Jolly, Vic Weavile, a Life Orb, Florges with Head and Power Ground, Energy Ball, Moonblast, a Focus Sash, Sandstorm, Jolly, Excadrill, and a fully defensive Calm Mind, Roost, Psychic, Dragon Pulse, Latios. Now, I knew that Excadrill could have done a lot, but I really didn't plan for the Gorgeist. I'm used to using Gor Gorgeist Small, but Gorgeist Large or Super was the stop to my Excadrill. And, uh, and that became a problem. So, like I said, I decide to lead with my Excadrill as he leads with his Victini. And I'm not worried about a V-Create because I am Focus Sashed. So I just go for the Sandstorm and that was a problem because I should have gone for the Toxic to, to predict the incoming uh, Gorgeist. I really expected him to just go for an, uh, a V-Create to kill Excadrill right away, but whatever. Uh, that's misplay number one. I decide to switch out into my Thunders because this was the only one that wanted to take a Will-O-Wisp. And here I expected him to switch out into his Sceptile. So I decide to go for the Agility here. Uh, and unfortunately that Sandstorm is just doing more damage. Uh, and it's just chipping away. He goes for the, uh, for the Shadow Sneak. I expected him to switch out. I could have gone for an, a Hidden Power Ice there. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't. I was really expecting the switch into the uh, subtile. So here he goes for a second shadow sneak, and as you can see, I can't live another shadow sneak. Hidden Power Ice does over half, and had I done, had I gone for Hidden Power Ice the first turn, then I could have two kill, two shot killed the Gorgeist. Originally, I had an expert belt on here, but. Uh, after some debating, I switched to the Zap Plate, and just like that, the Thunder Starion goes down. Had I had the Expert Belt, I would have done more damage, and had I just gone for Hidden Power Ice and Agility, I would have killed him. So, now I go into my Weavile, and I'm 100% expecting the switch into the Quillfish. I expect this to have Rocky Helmet, expecting the knockoff, um, but uh, the knockoff damage does less than I really wanted it to and now I can't stay in because I can't touch this thing so I decided to go into my Latios as he goes for a Thunder Wave totally unexpected but this gives me the opportunity to go for a Calm Mind as he sw switches into his Togekiss so the first time I used Mega Latios uh, I didn't have any attacking moves this time uh, this is, I double checked, triple checked, this Latios is perfect. So, he goes for the Dazzling Gleam, and I take that really well, and I go for a second Calm Mind. Um, I, I know eventually that I am going to get fully paralyzed, so I need to start roosting up, and, and being able to live these Dazzling Gleams a little bit better. Um, I know I can take a Choice Scarf Dragon Claw, if I'm at 80% health. So I need to start um, call mining up to the point where I can start living these Dazzling Gleams and kill back with enough health to take a Dragon Claw. Because right now, uh, Latios is looking like a huge win condition on my part as I continue to call mine and roost up. And here I decide to just gauge the damage. I know it's not enough to kill, but I just want to see how many more I need to uh, to take it because at this point I could have lived the Dragon Claw uh, and here he goes for another Dazzling Gleam as I decide to roost up seeing that hey maybe he's just going to 
kill this thing off. So here's my turn. Here's where I kill the Togekiss and I uh, start to do damage to the rest of his team. But he gets a huge crit and I get the full para. So not only do I not get to kill the Togekiss, but I get crit and I lose my Latios. Everything on this team, what about it sped me? So there's no point in preserving it. And just like that, we are way, way, way behind the eight ball here. So I decided to go back into my Ectodrill and go for another Sandstorm. I really expected him to switch out here, uh, probably into his Gorgeis, but I didn't make that switch. So here he goes for the, the Wish to Wish Pass into his Gorgeis because I cannot kill the Gorgeis. I should have gone for the Iron Head. I should have played for, for get kills. Here I expected the switch and I went for the Toxic, but of course I missed. Not too big of a deal. But now I can't stay in with the Exodrill and Gorgeist is going to have a lot longer uh, time around. So here he goes for the will -Lisp. Luckily he misses. It's not that big of a deal. As I bring in my Snorlax, and now Snorlax is really my, my true one hope of winning this match. But he has Leech Seed, and the Leech Seed and the Sandstorm does not help at all. I have a Chapel Berry on here because I expected a low kick on his uh, Sceptile. So right now I am just trying to set up and, and hopefully Snorlax can do enough damage to the point where either Weavile or Exodrill can come in and, and, and pull out uh, a miracle victory here. So he hits a Will-O-Wisp which means that the residual damage on Snorlax is just becoming too much. Um, again, I was back and forth. Do I want Choppleberry? Do I want Leftovers? He switches out into his Tyrantrum as I go for the rest. Um, again, I didn't really plan too much for Gorgeist, and originally I had a Sleep Talk return without any way to hit the Gorgeist, but eventually I decided to, to switch uh, to uh, crunch and now he hits two head smashes and I can tell that damage is is a choice scarf Tyrantrum and because of the residual damage Snorlax can't take another hit and kill so I decided to switch into my extra drill to take the head smash it doesn't do enough at all and because he switched out I know he's in fact scarfed plus I would have outsped and killed. So I go for the Toxic, expecting the uh, expecting the uh, Gorgeist. And here, I was really hoping he went for another Will-O-Wisp, but he goes for the Leech Seed. Had he gone for Will-O-Wisp, I would have been able to rest up on the turn I wake up, unless he had Seed Bomb, and uh, saved my Snorlax for a little bit longer. But down goes Snorlax. And now I'm just left with Weavile and Exodrill and Forges. So here, again, I'm expecting him to go into his Quillfish. And my calc said that Beat Up was the better play. But what it didn't take into consideration was that I only had three members of the team left. Had I had six, yes, it would have done more. But three does less than it should have. So I go into my Exodrill. Kind of a sack, kind of hoping to live as he switches again into his stupid uh, Gorgeist. And here at this point, I need something. I need a miracle. There's no other way I can win this without a miracle. So I switch here into my Florges, uh, taking the Leech Seed. He misses, luckily. And I thought, do I go for the Hidden Power Ground, expecting the Victini to switch in, or do I just try to kill the Scorgeist? Uh, he switches into the Victini, and I go for the Moonblast, and I reveal that I am Life Orb. That does a decent amount of damage, which means a knockoff will be enough to kill. And here he goes for the V-Create, and I'm totally expecting this thing to be Choice Scarfed. And because his speed fell, now I know for a fact that my uh, Weavile will outspeed. So 
one here, I go for the safe play. I just go for a knockoff because I think two knockoffs will be able to kill this quillfish. He lowers my attack. I go for the knockoff. And what do you know? I get a crit. That's not too big because two knockoffs would have killed. But here comes his Victini. And I'm expecting the V create. And I at least just want to get this differential down just a little bit more. He goes for the blue flare and he misses. Had I stayed in and had I gone for knockoff and got a high roll and killed his Victini, I had a chance to pull one out of my ass. But I didn't. I switched, I thought he'd go for V-Create, and I thought Weavile would come in and be able to pick up another kill. But that's not how things worked, and that's how we lose, and that's how the season comes to an end. So, we finished the season 6-5, six 6th overall on the league table. I felt this season was fun. It was up and down, up and down, up and down. As you can see throughout the season, there wasn't really a time where we played terrible, terrible, terrible. The worst game of the season was, in fact, our last game we just played. But we were consistent. Um, we had a couple bad breaks against Ellie and against Raikwin. Uh, Raikwin, game-changing, maybe, maybe not. Ellie definitely could have won that one had we hit the focus blast. But we pulled out some big wins against Chi. We beat Paul, and we can't forget the highlight of the season, beating Old Man Top, having the opportunity to play Old Man Top, and beat him 5-0 on a manual sand. Lando with Explosion, Exedril was a phenomenal first round pick, second overall. But this season was more than I could imagine. Season one was fun, but season two was definitely the better overall experience. I got to talk to everybody in the league. It was great. I felt more connected. I felt like this was the best experience when it comes to Pokemon that I've ever had. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity and hopefully uh, season three will be even better. So thanks for watching, all the support. It means so much to me and, uh, and I really hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for whatever comes next. Thanks for watching.